So today I want to talk about BMW 2007 328i and why I want to talk about it because it is a car on the market and there is a budget you can buy the car and the BMW is such a popular model and especially if you don't have money to buy M5, M3 but you really want it but you cannot so what are you going to buy for that kind of money and uh, if you don't have a credit you just got 7,000 from your parents or maybe you had some savings and now instead of Uber or public transportation you want to buy the BMW the, your dream car so that's what you're going to get for 6,700 plus tax and license uh, unfortunately you have to pay in the state of California but that's the car and uh, I want to show it to you if there is any goodies left if the car in good condition like it's a drivable condition and uh, it's impressively good condition right now but not all of them the same way so what's going on with the car the car itself I mean there is a BMW from the outside there is a paint it's still good it's not falling apart it looks okay and uh, the tires not so bad the interior it's really clean and the outside it's not so bad also but it's fading i mean it's fading here and there all the rubbers outside they already fallen apart just because of heat just because of usage just because it's an old bmw 2007 and that's the condition you have to expect if you're buying it there is nothing wonder about the car there is nothing it can impress you it's just a bmw itself again nobody knows how much you pay for the car nobody knows what's the star what is the, what's the status of the title what's the mileage of the car that's the good point so when you buy a bmw you just want to impress someone because you do have a bmw and it's always it's only seven thousand for the seven thousand sixty seven hundred what you can buy you can buy maybe in good condition toyota corolla but it's not the bmw so bmw gonna give you totally different uh feeling about the car and again all the problems on the bmw you just probably gonna skip it because it's too expensive it doesn't make any sense to fix it because the money wise I mean why are you gonna spend that money if the car is not worth it it's a really good point especially for this BMW 2007 with 150,000 miles somebody was trying to take in care of it because when you start in the car the lifter noise it's not coming up usually it does so the lights on the dashboard they not showing up so it's all off I was impressed I mean like the car in this condition this year this mileage they're supposed to be all the lights on and the people keep driving it that's that's what's good about BMW so it's not falling apart right away it's not getting stopped on you and you don't want to drive it it can address no no you're going to start it every day you're probably going to drive it all the lights going to start coming on your abs uh, because there is a million different problems with this car there's a suspension ebs unit your charging system your oil leaks uh i mean you name it suspension brakes all of these components they just constantly fall apart but bmw i think the engineers whoever designed whoever made it they say okay let's do this way we're going to build the car it's going to keep driving it's going to keep starting so you're not going to have a lot of problems like it's going to have a lot of problems but the people are supposed to spend the money so they're going to they're going to keep that idea they drive in bmw it's not falling apart like completely but there is a lot of different small things we're going to suck the money from them they either going to buy the parts from us they or they're going to do service so and on the money on the service it's much more than the money when they sell in the car that's i think was the main uh main idea of the engineers so because why all the rubbers all the silly on gaskets all the the all the seals they start leaking start leaking here there there and the car keep driving so am i gonna give you light like uh, uh, no oil pressure or a low oil level but engine itself not gonna be frozen right away so it's gonna have a lot of time until it's gonna get stuck so the six cylinder straight engine it's really good i mean it's strong engine and the people love it so turbo i don't like it that much but again even the three third 335 same years they are really good strong engines but the problems what's what's going on around the engines they like they covering all the goodies i think in my opinion the air leak on the engine and constantly so your rpm gonna go up and down up and down not just because of air leak there is a lot of different common problems like you said like i said before uh the alternator when it's going bad the <coughs> It's affecting everything it's affecting your ac it's affecting your uh, ability to drive the car it's affecting your uh light and this and that and that all of it even the brakes not gonna work properly so this car 
especially this BMW and the cars like that and that budget, I'm all gonna call, call them eBay cars. You know why? Because all the parts for this car, usually you can buy on eBay and it's gonna be much cheaper. Just because I had a lot of those BMWs uh, before I was buying them for sale, I know all common problems and the problems with those cars and like the, it just constantly on and on. So the oil leak, oil filter housing, it's common problem, oil leak, the valve cover gasket, common problem, oil leak, all those plastic hoses, whatever going on, they all fall apart just because of the higher temperature. Same thing what's going on with the air system, the air system on the intake just falling apart, all those hoses just because they, they get in old, so it starts sucking air, your RPM going up and down, your performance going down. The plastic air intake itself it is a problem too because sometimes you might need to replace it. That's all I can say. So the power steering leaking, the oil leak alternator on this car, especially it's sitting on the side. So the oil gonna go a little bit from the oil filter housing. It's not gonna affect a lot, but it is affecting. It's always uh, full of oil. I don't know how even this one right now, like I say, some of them, they are seven series, five series. They sitting on the bottom. This one sitting on the side, but still gonna have a lot of oil if you're gonna pull it out. So the power steering itself leaking. If you're gonna go under the car, you're gonna see a lot of different oil leaks coming from everywhere. And like I say, it doesn't make any sense to fix it just because it's not worth it. So you're probably gonna spend more money on that than the car itself. So actually this unit, uh, I would say it's really good condition because usually this year, this year car BMW, they all fall apart. Right now there is several, several things inside the car which is not working. So for example, the cup holders, it's impossible to pull it out. Again, it's an eBay car in my opinion because old BMW, it's, you are crazy if you want to go to, oh, Lux. So you are crazy if you're going to the dealer and buying parts from there because you don't need it. There is a eBay full of different parts, whatever you need, and you just keep, keep buying it constantly because it's on the high demand all the time. So the cup holders, they stock, uh, the steering wheel, I mean the steering itself, the pump itself, the idea of the steering in the BMW, it's super heavy. It's like you, you drive in the huge truck and uh, you don't have a power steering. It's kind of sporty probably because of suspension and all the steering components, they they set this way like the car is super sporty and it's gonna handle, uh, it's gonna handle really good on the high speed. I mean, yeah, at some point, but in this point, 150,000 miles BMW 3 Series, it's not the way anymore the motor mounts are gone the engine sitting down on the frame and uh, you can feel vibration the suspension not need a lot of attention but i can feel the <clears throat> the shocks they kind of gone and uh, control arms bushings they might gonna need attention probably not usually when you buy the car like that you just skip it skip it you know you're going to mechanic for oil change and the mechanic just lifts it up and telling you hey bro you your bushings are gone your brakes are gone and this is gone and you just like mm, skip it skip it skip it same way you're doing advertising on your uh youtube channel whatever you're watching so what else i can say what about the space inside the car i mean again we're buying the car for seven thousand, and uh, you don't care about space you do care about the comfort what you're gonna get so number one you're gonna get the uh, transmission which is kicking all the time constantly and it's probably leaking because the oil leak for the bmw it's normal like the people saying if you do have a bmw it's sitting in the garage uh or in front of your garage and it has no oil leak probably it's not a bmw so the way you drive in bmw new one old one doesn't matter i did see a lot of bmws 2018 2019 with low mileage about 50 60 but that's why again there is a lot of information i would say but i would say this so the dealer giving you 50,000 miles warranty for the new engine and transmission just because after that it's going to have a lot of problems they're going to make money on you on the parts on the service whatever it is so you're going to get 70,000 uh 70,000 miles BMW and you think it, it's not uh, gonna leak oil, it is. I mean, in rare conditions, sometimes it's not leaking, but usually it is. So this BMW, what's the common issue? Common issue, there is a lot of oil leaks everywhere, everywhere. You just don't wanna fix it. It's better buy the oil and add it. That's what all the people, normal people do. And because as soon as you start spending money on the car and trying to fix all the all the issues, whatever car has, it's not gonna be enough. You believe me, your credit card limits, it's not gonna be enough for this BMW because it's like the old, um, beautiful prostitute just wanna keep 
money from you and giving you nothing <laughs> that's just the way it is for me bmw and uh, all the switches in this car they just kind of i mean like i said this car in in, in good condition 150,000 miles for for this kind of bmw usually it's all that but this one not so all the buttons they still readable i still can see the paint on that it's not peeling off like a little bit here a little bit there so the push start button uh that that's super weird i mean when they did e uh e generation of bmw 3 series 5 series 7 series doesn't matter so they put this push start button so you have to take the actual key put it in the slot push it it's gonna light up but you have to step on the brake and push the start button i mean giving you idea of what you're driving like supercar you have three million buttons to put it to push it before you're gonna start it i don't know so the moonroof i mean this car uh it is existing on this car it's usually on all BMWs do have the moonroof uh, and it's working suddenly somehow it's still working usually the switch is going bad your battery draining all oh, the battery drainage that's the like I can I can make the huge video about the battery drainage for the BMW so usually switch is going bad sometimes it might not gonna work and uh, the cables going bad the moonroof getting stuck and again when you buying the car from someone from private party or from the dealer they're gonna tell you, oh you know it's just a fuse no it's not the fuse believe me it's just gone so and usually again it's gonna cost a lot of money to fix it people just not touching it at all because you have to drop the uh handle line uh, headliner you have to drop the the rails and this and that and cable buy the used one use one you're gonna buy it you're gonna put it on it's gonna break down in the next couple of weeks so you're gonna get the same problem you're not gonna return it you're not gonna exchange it so you're gonna get stuck so the bcm unit it's constantly going bad your battery drainage constantly going bad the battery sitting in the trunk and uh that's that's like that's like really uh the huge topic about the trunk compartment about the shocks how the how heavy it is right now and uh, where the battery is sitting why is draining there is a lot of different reasons why the battery drain in this car but they all common and you're gonna fight that that reason you're gonna fight that problem trying to fix it try to put new battery try to put new alternator it's gonna go back again and again bmw i don't know who designed it but they designed it so uh smart way about to make money so for example your uh, valve cover start leaking and it's leaking a lot so you don't want to fix it it's okay you it's kind of normal for you when you start the car up in the morning and smoking a lot or during the day it's smoking a lot when you're driving it in the traffic you're just doing uh, uh, uh circulation air in in the inside the car and you again you like skip it what about fixing the oil leak skip it you're not fixing the oil leak you're saving the money you're doing good thing you buy the oil from 7-eleven you just add it keep going so the lights not on you see working it's all beautiful but the oil keep leaking and it's keep leaking where you're right it's leaking on the alternator so alternator gonna short it up and it's gonna start uh not charging it's not gonna charge the battery enough to keep the car alive so it's going to create a lot of problems the water uh, the voltage the voltage the system voltage drop and the unit components all the electrical components they are they all going to start going bad one by one uec going to go bad again ac compressor it's common problem you can buy it on a, uh, ebay for 50 for 50 bucks use one and if you're going to enjoy it for three four weeks maybe you're going to enjoy it for the half year because you bought the really good condition 2007 bmw 3 series like this one and you're going to skip all the small things because they're not uh, bothering you a lot but again at some point you're gonna you're gonna understand you're gonna get it like i would use that money to put it as a down payment to buy something better or to buy a lease i mean to get the lease maybe if you don't want a lease you want to buy it i would say use this money for something much better than this one because it's not worth it unless you always ready uh, to pay attention for this bmw you always have some spare money uh spare spare change you have some spare change so this car constantly gonna ask you like a homeless at 7-eleven do you have any uh spare coin spare change so this car needs a lot of spare uh change from you just make sure you want it make sure you're ready but because this car is always ready believe me or not any bmw always ready to take your money so the re main reason why i'm doing that kind of video and why i want to tell you about the bmw for that kind of money for the budget uh that's not because i'm trying to be super smart i want to try and just to show it to you what you're going to buy because a lot of people uh who wants to buy the car they don't have an idea what they're going to face and what they're going to get i think it's going to be really informative i think it's going to be really helpful for someone uh, who's trying to find 
himself in the BMW for that kind of money. So just guys be ready and prepare yourself and I'm probably gonna do more videos like that about some cars, uh, what's really hot on the market or what's on your mind, just put some comments below and put some thumbs up because I'm really trying to be uh, helpful as much as I can. Plus, I'm really interested to share this information with you because in my opinion, it's super important in the used car market because nobody talking about it, nobody uh, wants to hear it if they do have this kind of car like that. Наверное, как-то вот так, блядь, типа тип, тип того. А Миша уже посмотрит, надо это вставлять или не надо. Окей, Майк. Снято? Ну, давай еще что-нибудь пизданем. А, ну мы уже концовку пизданули, поэтому ничего не надо. Концовку же ебанули, да. Да, наверное, все. Все, заебись. Все, все, охуенно. Да. So baby, it's hot outside. It's really hot outside. I'm sweating. Even it's in the morning right now. Uh, we're in August, right? So one of the other things about the BMW when you're trying to open something, like for example, I'm trying to open the the trunk, right? And if I'm gonna put my uh, fingers on the button to open the trunk, that's what I'm gonna get. Uh, let me show it to you a little bit more. That's I'm gonna get uh, pieces of rubber or plastic. So all the buttons, it just keep melting. Uh, melting down and it's getting and it's getting annoying because how you're gonna open it you have to lift it up so the bottom there it just melted inside the car that's what's going on exactly the same with all the handles all the buttons I mean if you had the BMW before or you have it right now you know what I'm talking about so what are we gonna get in the trunk in the trunk we're gonna get some probably tools on the side yeah it's still here all that famous famous screwdriver BMW it is here and some other things so the battery is sitting right there and there is a lot of different fuses you might gonna need it because they constantly going bad burning down for some any reason so the trunk is getting so heavy because the shocks they just gone trash and again it's nobody changing it even they they're not that expensive they are cheap and it's gonna be much easier to open the trunk but uh, why you need it because you do have a lot of different problems you have to go through any trunk shocks they just not important at all but the good point BMW used to do the, <clears throat> the lock on the trunk so you can use your key to open it. So the locks on the doors itself, they're constantly going bad. They sometimes open and sometimes not getting stuck or something else. You have to take the door panel apart. The window regulator constantly going apart, falling apart. You can buy the cheap one from the somewhere Chinese and replace it yourself if you're brave enough. So that's one of the one of the point like if you buy the bmw like that and your budget is super short what are you going to do what are you going to do when your tire is going to go out when your tire is going to go out you're just going to stop by any used tire, sh uh, tire shop and uh, put them on for like 30 40 50 dollars a piece and you don't care about new one anymore because why because it's a bmw and it has million different problems you have to spend your money on so what's going on about the brakes same way i mean when the rotor is going bad and the people saying, nah, like mechanics saying, oh, it's going to be like 800 bucks, 700 bucks. No, you're going to go out of zone, buy the brake pads for 40 bucks and uh, your neighbor or your, or your friend, whoever, they're going to replace it for you or with you. So for free, you're going to try to eliminate all that spending because you're going to get an idea. There is not enough money in your pocket. You have to spend on this car and make it the right way. It's not, it's never going to make right. It's never going to be okay because it's all BMW. And I think the best way for this BMW, you just go to the junkyard and be turned apart maybe you're gonna drive it um, a little bit until all the lights gonna come on the AC gonna stop working the charging system gonna go bad and uh, some all any, any other kind of problems and you're gonna turn it to someone somebody gonna keep driving it but at, at some point I think the cars like this not especially this unit this unit is really strong for now uh, besides some other things but the to drive the old car and with a lot of problems and it's not fixable and you don't want to fix it you don't have money it's just super dangerous i mean can you imagine you're going to cross the you're going to cross the intersection on a green light for you right you just walking through the streets and some guy on the bmw who say i don't want to spend money on an alternator and my uh, ebs 
the EBS pump or EBS unit just went bad. So I don't have EBS, I don't have brakes, I don't care. I'm going to drive it like that. So the guy was driving so fast on uh, close to intersection and you start crossing. You see the BMW coming and you see you supposed the BMW is supposed to stop, but it's not stopping for some reason. And you think, you know, maybe the guy going to push the brake. But at the same time, the guy pushing the brake, but it's not working. So he's just going to hit you. Uh, and it's happening. I mean, believe me or not, it is happening and things like that. I mean, I did hear stories when the people try to stop the car and won't stop. They just went to the ditch or went on the site and hit something else. Uh, besides, they hit, um, instead of hit the car in front of them. And it's just crazy. I mean, it's, it's so crazy how the idea of not taking care of the car getting so bad, it might gonna uh, affect your life or life of somebody else who's driving next to you. That's super crazy. I think think twice about buy BMW like that or not. But again, in case you know how to handle the problems, in case you know what's going on, and in, in case you know what to do when the lights come on on your cluster, on your dashboard, buy it. Why not? It's just experience. Nobody gonna give you uh, that experience besides you and yourself. My opinion is just my opinion, but I'm telling you from my experience uh, with uh, used car business. And thank you so much, guys, for watching it. It was. Uh, it was a pleasure to talk to you about the BMW for 6700. See you next time. Thank you.